everything is packed up. I take one weekend for myself and the place falls apart. This is ridiculous. you know, 
just cut it in half so that way I can take a look at it before I give it to him and if it looks bad I'll just throw it out. Yeah, he won't eat it if he sees it like that. He'll, he'll be disgusted by it. I know, he's a picky eater. Yeah, um, egg and he'll take the corn as well. Yeah, and go ahead and put the cheese on the side and the dressing on the side. Obviously, he's so picky about the lettuce. Yeah, okay, yep, perfect. Oh, and can you actually throw in a bottle of water? Yeah, I think our cooler isn't stocked up here. Yeah, our lovely assistant. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, she doesn't do much of anything, so. Perfect. Oh, thank you. And I also need a favor, actually, too. Yeah. Is there any way that you can have that delivered today? I know it's a lot to ask, but I have a lot to catch up on from my vacation. And our, les our I would ask our lovely assistant to do it because that is a part of her job description. But, you know, like I said, she doesn't do much of anything and it probably wouldn't get here on time. Oh, come on. You have to help me out. Please. Perfect. Thank you. No, you're out saving my life. I appreciate that. I need it here by two o'clock. Perfect. Thank you. You're the best. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah.
not hardworking or anything like that. She's just cute. I mean, I just, I don't mean to sound better, but I mean, as I mentioned, she does absolutely nothing besides walk around the office in her tight little skirt, looking cute. Yeah. I mean, love that for her. Love, 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 love a cute girl. You know, love that. But that means that I am responsible for picking up the slack around here. Yeah. On top of doing the things that I have to do as a secretary, I also have to do her job, which includes... Getting Mr. Flitwitch lunch, getting Mr. Flitwitch coffee, and picking up his dry cleaning on top of the things that I do, which is scheduling and meetings and contracts and all of that important stuff. Yeah. Not saying that what she doesn't do isn't important because it obviously is. We need it to get done. It's just added stress for me. Yeah, but that's okay. That's okay because I get paid for one job. Yeah, instead of two. Yeah. That's Mr. Flitwick's way of keeping me humble. Don't want to give me too much of a salary, you know? I might actually be able to pay my rent. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Sorry, I had to just auto fill out a couple of things. But you need representation. Like you said, obviously this is a law firm. Um, can I have your first and last name, please? Can you spell that out? Thank you. Second part. 
Marissa and first name. Can you spell that? Thank you. Last name. Perfect. Next. Perfect. Standard. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and the last name. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. And the last person. Perfect. Last name. Interesting. Can you spell that? Thank you. Okay. Perfect. And do you happen to have any dates of when you were involved with these people and when you were in a rela relationship with these people? Okay. Okay. March.
almost done. Yeah, so, well, most definitely. Yeah. And just how much are they suing you for? Is that per person? Okay. Oh no, no, it's valid. Yeah, it's valid. Yeah, chlamydia and gonorrhea is kind of crazy. Yeah. Definitely valid. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so really quickly, yeah, just, you know, a little something something before I send you on your way. Um, our rate here is $700 an hour. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Flitwick is a world-renowned attorney. He's gone all over the country doing all sorts of cases, and, you know, that comes with a lot of experience and a lot of expertise, and he is not, not cheap. Yeah, if, I'm, I'm assuming that you came here and you were so eager because you knew that. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so... Your second screening is going to be denied. Yeah, and I can tell you why. Don't, you don't have to worry. Yeah, I'm going to get into that. Um, first and foremost, like I said, we charge $700 an hour. Yeah. And, you know, based off of that bus, I'm assuming that's a bus ticket that's sticking out of that ratty little coat of yours that you look like you just picked up off the street. Um, you live rather far away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... Because you brought the bus, I'm assuming that you don't have transportation. Exactly. Uh, so Mr. Flitwick is the type of lawyer to be extremely hands-on. Okay, he loves to get all up in there and ask all the right questions and really get down to the nitty-gritty of things we can do at the top, you know? And that's going to require lots of meetings and in-person conversations that need to be had and travel time on his part because I'm assuming that you won't always be able to do the traveling seeing as you live quite far away and you wrote the bus here, sketch bus schedules, all that good stuff, you know. Um, I'm assuming that you won't always be able to make the travel, which means that Mr. Flitwick would have to do that. He would have to make the travel, which is definitely something that he is not against. He travels for, 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 yeah, he travels for people all the time. He travels for clients all the time, not a problem. However, those are billable hours. Yeah. How far away do you live exactly? An hour. Okay. So, his hour drive to you and the hour drive back is already two billable hours, which is for one meeting. If you guys, assuming that he just goes there and talks to you and then comes right back and doesn't even talk to you, just goes and comes back, two hours is $1,400. Yeah. And Mr. Mr. Flubig is very, very extensive. He likes to really get in there and ask all the decent questions. So you guys will definitely be talking for quite a while. Um, on top of that, phone conversations. Anytime that he calls you, that's also billable hours. Yeah, obviously it's prorated, but still, it's billable. Yeah. So I'm assuming based off of your bus ticket and the fact that you do not have a car, the fact that you instead of just purchasing instead of just purchasing the antibiotics for your little STDs, which not judging you for having an STD by the way, you know it happens it happens, but instead of not purchasing instead of purchasing the antibiotics for your STDs you decided to go around slinging your thing in everybody's faces I'm assuming you either didn't care enough to purchase the antibiotics or you couldn't afford it, and either one we're good. Yeah, either one, we're good. Yeah, yeah. Either you can't afford us, or you're, you're a scum, which, you know, not judging, you know, everybody's got their issues, but, you know, we're good either way. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, we're gonna have to decline. We're good, but thank you so much for coming, that was really entertaining, yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, I'm actually going to have Yasmin walk you out of the building, just, you know, make sure that you leave because you kind of seem like you're not all the way there. Um, Yasmin. Yasmin. Yes, thank you. Will you be so kind as to walk this lovely, lovely person out of the building for me? 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, and then and then you can walk by Billing and you can see that little boyfriend of yours. Yeah, the, yeah, the one that looks like he's in twelfth grade. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely. Thank you, Yasmin. Yeah, that's the one thing she will do. Um, 